Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee. Welcome you to episode uh, four. I believe it's episode four of our Shadowrun Returns playthrough. I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to that. And let me try to edge this up a little bit here. There we go. And this episode, we're heading to Pike Place Market, which, like many locations in Shadowrun, especially in Seattle, are actual places in the real world. It's got a little bit of history to it. You catch a cab from Touristville to Pike Pike Place Market in a mercifully quiet ride that takes you from probably going to be mugged to probably going to pay too much for your drinks. Yes, because we are no longer in the Barrens, as far as I know. Compared to the urban wasteland of the Barrens, the downtown area is filled with modern buildings, lighted, lit, lit streets, not lighted, lit streets, and unbarred shops. I'm sorry, I know I keep doing that, but it really bugs me. I'm a bit of a grammar Nazi, I suppose. All living beneath the shadow of massive corporate ecologies. For many, these are colleges are home. For others, they're hulking monuments to where the world went wrong. Famous for its fishmongers, Pike Place Market has been around since the early 1900s, overlooking the bay. Now it's a market for all things, legal and illegal. A melting pot of haves and have-nots. Even though most of the shops are closed, the sights, sounds, and smells of the market hit you from the moment you step out of your cab. And that pretty much tells you everything you need to about Shadowrun right there. Come on. There we go. All right. So we're here at uh, Pike Place Market to find a fella by the name of Paco. And this is not Paco, but we're going to go say hi to him. Oh, moving much better today. Come on, talk to Patrick. The handsome young man turns away from the crowd and fixes his full complete... Full, completely undivided attention. Sir, you are a beautiful, beautiful elf. That's the second time I've been called that today. But you could be so much more. All right, what are you selling? I'm not selling anything. We are giving away the secrets to a more fulfilling, happy, and productive life. Yeah, okay, he's one of the Brotherhood guys, isn't he? Yeah, Universal Brotherhood. Okay, I'll bite. What are the secrets to a more fulfilling, happy, and productive life? The first step is simply to come and listen. Tomorrow night, Lynn Telestian will be speaking about the importance of family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow, and the secrets of a better life shall be revealed to you. Ugh, like any snake oil salesman. Yeah, come come listen to the church for a bit. It'll be great, I promise. Yeah. Not buying it, sunshine. I'm not. It's not my makeup. But we still need to find Paco, and I don't actually know where he's at. Who's that? Oh, there's Paco right there. Hold on. The kid in front of you sports the trademark yellow of the Cutters Gang. Young, clean-shaven. He stands like his like he owns the street and everyone on it. Seems distracted though, glancing around with increasing agitation. He looks over as you approach. Watch yourself, dandelion eater. What do you want? Dandelion eaters are a derogatory term for elf. That's actually one of the cuter things that they can be called, honestly. You wouldn't have to be looking for coyote, would you? Ooh, karma. It's none of your fragging business. Who the hell are you? I'm the one who's going to pretend you have better manners. I need to find Cody. Yeah, I like that. And I need you to tell me what you think, why you think that's my problem. Not her boss. Find her yourself. I was just at the union. She's missed two shifts and Mrs. Kubo... Kubota hasn't been able to reach her on her comp. The tough guy swagger seems to drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone, and before he stands, a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote's okay, missing. Oh, man, that would explain. She was supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting in your face like that. What else do you know? She's missing. I need to find her. Ah, uh, do you know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? Coyote had a meeting with him a few days ago. I know of him, sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take gig side gigs, though, so I got no reason to deal with him. Coyote hasn't said anything about taking new work. I thought she was a bartender, not a runner. Wait a minute, Drek. I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she wait? Damn it. Tell me where she went, kid. The Royale Apartments. The landlord, Stevie J, runs a drug ring out of that hellhole. Coyote grew up there, doesn't like to talk about it much. He's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. 
few days back, I heard Mr. Delilah was looking for runners to steal some sort of item out, of, out from under Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job, I'm sure of it. If his thugs caught her, I'm going over there. You coming? One more thing. Before we even get started on this, let's talk about the zebra meat, because that's fucking odd. Zebra meat. What? Look, that shop's just down the block. You want to check it out, but I'm going to go to the Royale with or without your help. What's it going to be? I'm in. Let's do this. Damn right we will. I don't remember. Is he an actual companion? I guess so. Let's see if I can look at his stuff. Oh, and I got a bunch of karma to spend. I've been, I've been paying attention to that too much. And right, there's Paco. He's a human male. He's got throwing weapons, pistols, and submachine guns, and dodge. A little bit of biotech. That's random. All right. Let's spend some karma. Let's make us a better us. Let's see. I want pistols up to two. Two karma. We're going to go down, 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 down. Yeah, that might be useful. Still not worried about the close combat. That's what we have magic for. Let's see. Willpower. Spellcasting 3. Ley lines are visible. That would be useful. Still got 7 karma available. We don't want chi casting. Let's see. What's this one do? New etiquette. Then we have spirit summoning and conjuring. Spirit control. Well, we haven't really used them much. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. So, spirit totem. Bearer is powerful, gentle, wise, and a protector of the natural world. Alright, so... The power of bear heals all friends within three... Three squares, basically. The damage of the most recent attacks. That one's pretty cool. Uh, cat is secretive, sly, and stealthy, and very hard to trap. Plus one dodge for three rounds to all allies in, a, in an area of effect. Coyote is unpredictable and ever-changing. He is the trickster. All friends within range of three with quickness one. Eagle boosts 50% uh, uh, chance to hit. I don't remember Raccoon. Uh, move bonus of two squares for two rounds to all allies in an area around the Shaman. Okay, that's pretty cool. And bear again. So, who do we want? Um, Kind of like Raccoon, to be honest. That movement could really come in handy. Now we still have four, four left here. Let's see, what do we want to do with this? No, we're gonna grab a willpower or four, so we can start raising up our spell casting a bit more. There. All right, that takes care of all our karma expenditures. Let's see. Where aware the meat market is. Is it this fella? No. For some reason I seem to remember it being a woman. Dog on a stick. You know what? It's probably actually dog, too. But hey, don't knock it. Dogs get eating. Alright. Manny. There we go. Murray's Meat Emporium. Just don't ask where they get it from. The small meat stand presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. The pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man in front of you. As soon as he notices Paco, the proprietor's eyes become hard and angry. What do you want? You know we can't afford more. 
Relax, man. My friend just has a question. Everything cool here? Yeah, everything's swell. Manny continues to stare daggers in Paco's direction. Name is Manny. Now, what do you want? I have this receipt for an order of zebra meat. I'll look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Didn't think it was going to come for it. Here, it's all yours now. Some coyote. Nope, I don't go much into that shaman stuff. Why would someone want to buy zebra meat? Some people eat it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Tough as nails. We mostly sell it to corp security teams who use it to reward their hellhounds. Flamers go crazy for this stuff for some reason. Oh, Drek. That's why Coyote wanted zebra meat. Everybody talks about the pet hellhound Stevie J keeps locked up somewhere in the Royale. And if she never picked it up... Whatever. Anything else? It's Brahma Paco. Why don't you ask him? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that your gang likes to stroll through here and leave us emergence of our Nuyen. My dad stood up to them, and he's still in the hospital. Look, that's not my problem. I'm at the bottom of the cutter ranks anyway. I couldn't do direct about that even if I wanted to. Tell that to my dad. Eh, well. Alright, let's get out of here. Now. So, Coyote put in an order. She bought a new gun. And she put in for an order of zebra meat. She got the gun, but she didn't get the zebra meat. Which is kind of odd, considering that, well, if you're going to an area that has hellhounds... Might behoove you to actually, I don't know, have the things you need. As your eyes adjust to the flashing lights, you spot the body of a woman dead on the pavement behind the police line. Panic spreads across Paco's face. Oh, oh no. Is that Coyote? This isn't happening. God damn it. Paco, take a breath. Is that her? No, no, it's not her, thank God. Look, let's not hang around here too long, alright? Too many Lone Star pigs around. It's too bad whatever happened here. I'm not going to let anything like this happen to Coyote. Nobody likes the cops. Rent the cops or actual cops. And these guys are most definitely rent the cops. A tall, motionless security off, emotionless Lone Star officer blocks entry to the crime scene. Behind her, you spot the li lively face of the Oregon Grinders corner Dresden. This is an active Lone Star investigation. Please step away from the air. Barrier. I'm here to see Coroner Dresden. And who might you be? It's all right, officer. He's with me. Yep, I'm with him. Okay, then make it quick. So what brings you out here? Hot on the trail of the dead man's killer? Coincidence, believe it or not. I take it I've stumbled across another Ripper murder. Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty clean work. I got to hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Any of, any sign of magic being used here? Because was, That was an interesting thought. No, no obvious... Nothing obvious, though. I'm sure when McCluskey shows up, he'll call on a full magical forensics team, though, just to be sure. Um, just a little bit of background there. When you use magic in Shadowrun, it leaves trace of, trace elements that uh, slowly go away over time. And each person has, like, fingerprints a magical signature, and your spells hold that signature. So if you know what someone's signature is, or you can find it, you can use it to track them down. So the Ripper takes Sam Watts' liver and this woman's eyes. Trophies of some sort, I suppose. Probably some sort of symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, I couldn't speculate. Now, was she subdued in some way? No signs of a struggle, not a single bruise, but clearly alive when the eyes were taken. That's fucked up. And what do you know about the victim? Not much. Dead about three hours. Lucy Warden worked at the stuffer shack around the corner. It looks like she was just leaving work when it happened. Alright. Yeah, I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance to get the scumbag off the streets a little sooner. McCloskey wants the Ripper and soul, sure, but he couldn't care if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there. Speaking of McCloskey, you should probably get going soon before he gets shows up. Now, we have the option of what is this? 
What do we have here? Lying on the pavement in the eye is a body of a young female. Her eyes have been gouged cleanly out, and you notice a string of bite marks along her left arm. Disturbing enough. Officer Aguaria? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Plain clothes Lone Star Officer sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned us he might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Lucky for you, I got here before McCluskey. I'm Officer Agri uh, Agrira. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, honestly. We're going to call him Officer A. Pleased to meet you. I've seen this crime scene is going more fast. What can I do for you? Can you tell me about the murder? It's about three hours ago, and her eyes have been surgically removed. Let's scan her. Nothing. Damn, Rip might as well be a ghost. Doesn't like Lekloski. They have conflicting interests. Yeah. And he leads on the Ripper. Ah, uh, plenty if you ask McCloskey, but the truth is we're as clueless as you are. Thanks for your time. Hold on a minute there. You haven't put in a donation for the Lonely Orphans Fund. You see, you make a contribution to the fund, I put you, to, put you on a list and let you know the next time we find any orphans. You might be interested in them. Well, I'm always interested in knowing, finding about any new orphans you discover. Yeah, I'm bribing for information. Yeah, I'll give him 300 new yen for that. Excellent, I'll start an account for you. We get any useful information on the Ripper, I'll give you a call. Now, I better get back to work before my Kloski shows up. See you around. Well, okay, so we've bribed a police officer, found another murder site, and accomplished absolutely jack. Man, who's this twitchy little bastard? The elf saying before you might possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him a look of an undertaker from centuries past. He knows as you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire, do you know which organs grinder facility's body will be removed to? Who's asking? The elf giggles, a strange, high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from his misshapen face. Oh, I'm no one of consequence. Never mind that, though. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. So, randomly creepy asshole who just shows up to to enjoy the audience and ambiance of a freaking murder scene. Yeah, yeah, he's our guy right there. Bet you. Talk to Dresden again. What about the bite marks? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Ah, completely unrelated. Here's some wild dogs dragged her body out here from the alley sometime after her death. Wait, no, it's a particularly ugly elf? Eh, he's gone now. Might be interested in purchasing some of her parts, sure, but that's pretty poor form to inquire at the site of a murder. An ugly elf, huh? Have to keep an eye out. All right. I think we pretty much used this up. Oh, I could have sworn there was something else here. I reckon not. The thing is, is that, uh, like I've said before, depending on the kind of character you play, well, more importantly, since there's no classes involved, it's all based off of skills, you get different options. So... All right, now here's the stuff for Shaq. Now, we have two options here. We can continue on and go kick Stevie J's ass up around his ears, or we can deal with the murder victim and gain ourselves a little bit more karma. Kind of like that, you get a little bit more karma. There's still a few more things I'd like to get settled up before we get going. The orc before you wears a standard Stuffer Shaq employee getup. The uniform is well-kept and well-fitted. The tears streaming down his large, crooked face a little do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice your approach. Take it you knew the victim. Yeah, what's it to you? My condolences were the two of you close. 
Thanks, sorry, we're just not used to folk being too friendly around here. The coast's co-workers go blind. Luce and I worked here at the shack for three years together. Started on the very same day. Blind Lucy. Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things up right up to her face, but she got new eyes about a year ago. Let's just go with the new eyes. Now, she wouldn't talk much about it, just called her a stroke of good luck. I guess that luck ran out. The thing is, is that uh, cybernetic eyes are relatively cheap, so anybody that wants to get the you know, cybernetics can do so rather easily. I'm just kind of surprised that somebody went organic. That's the last time we saw Lucy. Here at the shack earlier today, I think she was headed towards the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on her way home, but we got some last-minute customers. Anyone strange? Like, I don't know, what really ugly elf? Weird stuff every day. It's a stuffer shack. And did Lucy have any enemies? She had an ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. The guy was pretty upset for some reason and wouldn't let... Wouldn't leave Lucy be until she filed for a restraining order. I was going to die down a while ago, though. Wait, you wouldn't have to be part of the investigation, would you? My own way. Well, Lucy had this necklace, an intricate little carving of a dragonfly on it. Wore it every day, said her mom gave it to her when she left Denver. Anyway, you know how Lone Star is. All her stuff will be bagged and placed in evident storage until the Seventh World Awakens, I just thought. I understand. If I can find out the scene, I'll bring it to you. Alright. Thanks for your help, friend. You know where to find me. Now, since we made friends with with uh, Officer A, there is a good chance that he might be willing to overlook us dicking around at this crime scene. I don't know for certain. It really depends on just uh, how much of a good cop he is. But he's up to taking bribes, so we should ask him first. Come on. Ugh. Actually, we'll ask. We'll talk to Dresden first because Dresden has a uh, dialogue option over his head. Alright. I'm sorry. Any chance to get McCluskey's way, he'll take it. A bit sleazy, but I'll take Aguera or McCluskey every day. We're going to call him Aguera. I don't really mind the chance of surgery. The corner for the downtown branch is out on attorney, so I told manager I'd cover for her on this one. Plus, I want the sickle cot. Can I talk to Arira? Aguira? Whatever the fuck his name is? Nope. You scan the ground near Lucy's body and spot a small wooden object, mostly hidden beneath the dead woman's hair. This must be the necklace Frank was talking about. A thin broken cord trails off to one side. It must have snapped during the struggle. If I had quickness four, I could just pocket it real quick. Let's catch the attention of the nearby officer, Agrira. Hello again. Can I help you? I need to take the victim's necklace with me. It may help my investigation. My alpha to help you. That means I won't be helping McCloskey. Thank you, officer. Yeah, sure thing. Good luck out there. I seem to remember he gets kind of butt hurt if you just grab it. But then again, if you're fast enough to just... Uh, you know, pocket it uh, without being noticed and be all subtle about it. He doesn't care, obviously, because he doesn't know. So, come on. Run, little elf! Run! There are cookies to be made. Alright, so that was a quick little step around here. So we'll talk to Frank again. We'll give him the necklace. We'll get some karma. And we'll go kick Stevie J's ass. Were you able to find Lucy's necklace? Yeah, right here, Frank. You should send. You can send this to her family now. And we got a point of karma. All right. As he takes the necklace from you, you can sense a sense a weight lifting from Frank's shoulders. I'm glad I can do this much for Lucy, at least. Thank you, friend. I owe you. Happy to help. Now, let's go and have ourselves a trip to the Royale. Alright. Come on, guy. Let's go find Coyote. 
Okay, I'm ready. I think we've done everything we can here. <sighs> the Royale Apartments. You roll up on the most impressive bit of tenement squalor you've seen in a long time. There's a few street lights here, and what light there is flickers with uncertainty. Most of the buildings are damaged and tagged. The smell of old rotting trash mixed with you don't want to know is overwhelming. It's no wonder people living here turn to BTLs. Anything is better than this. The Better Than Life chip is the newest drug on the market. You don't need a good life. You can slot someone else's, live through them, and wreck your brain in the process. Front doors of the Royale Apartments aren't even locked. As you, as you step inside, you can hear a junkie crying for another hit. It's time to find Coyote and find out what she knows about the night of Sam's murder. And that loaded very quickly, and I'm actually rather happy about that. So come on. All right. The Royale Apartments, what a hole. Can't imagine what it was like for Coyote growing up here. So here's the thing that I'm kind of curious about. Hmm. And stop me if I'm wrong, but Coyote's computer had the, uh, you know, where did you, where's your hometown? It was Chicago, but apparently she lived in this little shithole, so hard to say. A hell full, full of junkies. Looks like Stevie J is getting their rent money and their drug money. Coyote's here, we gotta hurry. She's good, but, well, these BTL guys pay to stay well informed. They may know where she was coming. Alright, so we have to keep Paco alive and find Coyote. This is just gonna be awesome. And let's... There's a tweaker here. Say hi. Psst. Hey, you. Woman scratches herself like a cat at a, at a couch leg. Please, can you spare some Nuyen? My crest stick's a little... A little light too, lady. What can you do for me in exchange? I got nothing to give, guide. All goes to BTLs. Everything. Please, just a few new yen. Maybe I can credit you for some information. Have you seen a woman come through here today? Armed and looking for trouble? Yes. No. Hell, what do you want me to say? I'll tell you anything. Everything, please. Scratching is pleading. Ah, sorry, you need to leave this place. But that doesn't make sense. The BTLs are here. I just need something. Yeah, better than life chips. Plug win, you get to live another guy's life. You know, you know if they're having a you know great time with the family and skydiving or having the greatest sex ever, you know you get to relive that. And it's very addictive, and it's worse than meth as far as these little monkeys are concerned. Like a lazy pigeon, he watches you approach. You're not from around here, are you? I don't want any trouble. Easy, Gramps. I'm just looking for information, then I'm gone. Bad day to come around unexpected. Bit of a commotion upstairs. Stevie's men are twitchy. This pretty young thing came in earlier, snooping around like you two are. I could tell she weren't here for the BTLs. Don't know how she got upstairs, but there was a lot more gunfire than usually is this time of day. And that's not good. She come back down. Nope. A couple of Stevie's men came around asking what anybody saw. Kept my mouth shut, I did. Where's Stevie hold up? He's got the whole top floor all to himself. Fancies he's the king around here. Great. Now this is an extraction. Hey, old man. You know how to get upstairs? You've been right friendly, but I can't get on the wrong side of Stevie J. I'm sure you already stand. All right, if we had Charisma 4, we could talk him into it. If we had Strength 4, we could bully him into it. And we have neither, so yeah, we're on around here. Looks like there's a... Oh, what do we got over here? I need to stop nosing around. What is this? Looks like there's a hole in the wall behind this old dresser. Let's move the dresser, see what we got. The wall is crumbling here. Through a hole you can see a rickety stairwell leading up. Uh, I bet he doesn't like that any. Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. You're back, what do you want now? What do you want now? You sure you don't know anything about that stairwell? Can't help you, Stevie G would feed me to those hounds of his. Ah, son of a bitch, still can't do anything about it. Alright, fine. I guess we'll go through here the hard way. 
Come on. Riker, stop your plea and your boy has debts and we're collecting. Please, Riker, no, he's my son. Man, Will's really let himself go. Get your ass back in your squat before I break something else. I'll send him upstairs instead. You want me to give him to Stevie? If, maybe after he kills that girl we caught. Simp. You pig, give Zipper back now or... Or he'll bleed on me. Zipper's gone. Get yourself a new kid. Cover his face with both hands. Oh god, no. Please, no! Loser. Alright. Actually, no, no, we're gonna... We're gonna talk to the dad first. What the hell's going on? There you are. Alright, rat boy, what you got for me? This is my home, get out! What was that all about? Why do you care? It's it's my son, the bastard took my son. Who? One of CVJ's goons, Riker, he runs that filthy BTL squad across the hall. My son Zipper, he's not a strong boy, and Riker knows it. Lured him in with those damn chips. Better than life? Ha, what life? And now they're torturing him in there. Why would they do that? The sickos have a SimSense recording studio there. Overhead in the city, they have a special guest up in the penthouse. They plan to torture her with the recording of my son's dying breath. Yes, you can do that. And yes, it's utterly fucked up as it sounds. Must be Coyote that got her up there. Keep it together. Stay al She's still alive. Stay frosty. That's always a good one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll be okay. What about my son? Eh, I'll see if I can save him. Save the man, son, optional objective. Alright. Oh, hello. There's a thing over here. What's the thing? Combat. Oh, jazz. I'll oh, send that to the stash. So it wasn't the drugs that you objected to, it was the computer drugs, apparently, Simp. Ah, well. Alright. Let's mess with our computer systems a bit. Hey, don't touch that. No, I'm touching that. I'm... All right, fine. I'll talk to this dick instead. Come here. Come here. Haven't seen you before, guy. Looking to go somewhere special? A scream echoes through the pipes of the rotten walls. Hard to tell where it came from. Heard you're in the middle of a recording session. Sure am. My gear is state of the art, if you can believe it. Ooh, Charisma 3. I'm looking for something very special. Something violent. Look around. Clearly, they're not going to be offended by any idea you can come up with. I want to kill someone and record it. Doug, look, he's thinking hard for a minute. Wow, you're one sick bastard. I like it. Perfect timing, too. Use a trigger man for a little project I've got going. Come with me. Show me the way. Yes, random person who I'm, whom I've never seen before. Come on over and just murder this dude for me and get your rocks off. Oh, God, make it stop. Not yet, kid. BTL junkies and twitch in the throes of their sore dreams. One board man stands ready to miss her. Another chip of the creds are good. Come on. Who's this, Riker? Can't you see I'm busy here? His name is Tickler, of course. This guy here has exotic taste, wants to help us out, and is willing to pay for the privilege. That had a copy of the recording. Well, as long as Mr. J gets what he needs, I see no reason we can't make a little extra at the same time. I think young Zipper here is just about spent. Now, just give me a moment to hook up a recording rig to our friend here, and I'll have quite the BTL for his personal collection. Uh, what do you think, Paco? Should we kick the Drek out of him? I think so, yeah. Ah, ah. Fooled you. Riker, you fool! Kill them! Ah. 
That's 15 damage to him. Oh, he's got a baseball bat. Nice. And Riker's down. Oh, no, you don't, dickhead. Get back here. I am so not done with you. Where do you think you're going? You have a gun? You don't have a gun. Oh, no, there we go. Submachine gun. Yes. All right. Oh. Fuck those clowns. Jesus, what a bunch of psychos. All right, zipper. Come on, zipper. There we go. I don't know who you are, but thanks. You got lucky today, kid. If I were you, I'd play it safe from now on. You don't get lucky twice. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, dumbass. If I don't think I can move, at least tell me, tell my dad. In a minute. You take the BL, BTL recording. So now we have a chip that either allows you to know what it feels like to be tortured or knows what it feels like to torture someone. I'm not really clear on that one. I think it's the first, but... Uh, oh, if I had Decker, Decking 3, I could control the elevators. Look at the BTL library. See, the database has a vast array of BTLs covering all topics and from disturbing and sad to romantic and adventurous. So we can send a happy chip to the junkies, a sad one, or a violent one. How do I just turn the damn thing off? Recording studio... Download the BTL currently being recorded. You know what, guys? Yeah, you guys are pretty much all useless anyway, so... Have a happy trip. Ooh. Ugh. Come on. Let's go talk to Simp. He's wound. Oh yeah, he got slapped by that dude. I could heal him if I cared to, but I don't. Zipper's okay. He's pretty messed up though. I don't know how to thank you. Yeah, that wasn't worth anything. I think if you actually uh, send all the junkies a violent, uh, violent ship dream, they basically all go bonkers. An elevator gleams at the end of the hall. Out of place amongst the filth. Oh, isn't that conveniently where we want to go? Push the intercom button. Yeah, what do you want? I got I got the BTL recording you're waiting for. About time. Give me a second here. Send the elevator. Awesome. All right. Well, that's happening. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, okay, yeah, this is just the chip heads. It's really weird when you play a game so much that you actually add chip head to your vocabulary and it doesn't sound weird. Alright, looks like this elevator only goes to the penthouse. Yeah, she means so are we. Whilst we go up there, I'm not leaving until we find Coyote. Yeah, no shit. It's the, kind of the whole purpose of this. The Penthouse Suite. Stevie J's penthouse apartment might have been nice at one point in time. Classic, even. But now it's filled with, with neon tube lighting, broken down furniture, piles of rubbish, and crates containing who knows what. Still. Compared to the rest of what you've seen, it's positively palential. Uh, don't ask. The only thing marring the penthouse's pseudo-luxury is a woman's cry of pain in the distance followed by laughter. Someone's being tortured for another's pleasure. You step deeper into the apartment. Yeah, there are literally no good people in this freaking universe sometimes. Alright, and we got ourselves three karma, which I'm not going to worry about right now. 
The elevator judders to a halt. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't catch that in time. Anything in here we can use? Oh, just him. But, uh, who are you? Oh, great. Now they know I'm coming. Help! Murder attack, boys. Get the big guns. Oh, fuck. Do you really think you can come in here and shoot up my place? Do you know who I am? I know who you are. I'm, you're the guy I'm going to kill. And in case anybody didn't catch it from his uh, picture, that person right there was Steve Jackson. Yes, of Steve Jackson games. Oh. I don't know where he came from. Oh, nice! Double crits? i going to lay down the law there, bud. Okay, guys, just keep standing there like that. I've got a freaking mana ball I want to throw at you. All right, where is it? Yes. Oh, I can get both of them right there. All right, awesome. No, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Submachine guns are fucking awesome. Yes, run closer to the guy with the submachine gun, you morons. Oh, damn, they can't hit shit at range, though. Alright, now, yeah, that's gonna... I don't feel like pushing that, so we're going to... That's like block. All right. Oh, that's Steve. That's Stevie J right there. Uh oh, weapons out. It's okay. Daddy brought the baseball bat. Oh, dude, not cool. Oh, I don't have a heal. All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, ley line, which does fuck all. I have no idea. Uh. Now, whatever it did, it didn't do a very good job of it. Reload. It's an Uzi 3. Alright, he's down. Paco still hasn't been hit yet. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so we're going to go to our items here. I'm going to hit up a... Here we go, basic med kit. deal with this guy. Stevie's not going anywhere. He's trapped in there right now, so. There. A glancing hit and a critical hit. Alright, so what's this do for me? Ah, no cooldowns, apparently. Because that's right back up. Damage there. All right, frag this fuck. One more time. Come on. Damn, he's still alive. That was with a crit too. Oh, he healed himself. You were the worst shot ever, dude. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. 
Come on, shoot him. There we go. Paco, shoot him some more. Now you're empty. Son of a bitch. Paco, please shoot him. Oh, he actually hit him this time. That sucks. There we go. There's my power bolt. Let's hit that up. Ugh. One more time. Come on, let's get a good hit in. Son of a bitch. Good night, Stevie J. But no, I can't. And with the bloody gurgle, Stevie J is no more. I killed Steve Jackson. That's awesome. Ooh, I think we get to loot him now. Oh, shh. wrong button there. The hell button did I just push? Uh, that would be a pestilent spirit. I must have accidentally just summoned that. That. Oh my god. All right. Paco, you're just going to stay in the back for a while. Me and the freaking Pestilence Spirit will have to deal with the rest of this. Uh, are we still in combat time? I don't know why. item over here I want to see if I can get. No, he's no longer standing on it. No, I guess not. Alright, fuck it. Let's reload here. Sure, what's going on with the spirit, but I want to go to this nice big fat ley line right here. But the room beyond the bars is a stinking jumble of burned flesh and dog flop. An enormous hellhound, its first streaks of whip marks growls low. Corner of a, the eyes of a second hellhound burn menacing in the corner. Here. Lunch is on, buddy. The hellhounds devoured the zebra meat in a few massive bites, and they let out a contented growl. I think we should be good now. Banish the spirit. Get the hell out of here. Don't you around anymore. You're creeping me out. Alright. Oh! Hello, Alex. Keep Coyote alive. Eh, how long is she? I don't know. Need a power bolt, bitch. Oh, 
Oh, shotgun. That wasn't nice. <laughs> and down. Wipe out the gang. Objective complete. We got three karma. About time you got here, Paco. Who's your friend? Just another professional. I need to ask you some questions. You got fucked up. Paco Glares, not now. Coyote, we need to make you back to the Union. Mrs. Kabuto has, a, has that med lab in the basement. No. No, I need to finish the other thing I came here for. You need to find something for Mr. Delilah first. A stash of gems. Lila, I thought you said you were doing another deal with that man. Look, Paco. Any excuse to come back here and settle some debts? Figured, figured I might as well get paid for it. Her voice is strong still, but her body is beginning to shake. Paco, help her back to the Union. I'll find those gems for you, then meet you there. Coyote looks like she's about to argue, but says nothing. Come on, Coyote. Let's go. Alright, yeah, you two get the hell out of here. And I got a hit point restored. Hellhounds are chilling on their zebra meat. And we have to find the, uh, the missing gems of Stevie J. I swear to God, they're shaped like dice. I'm going to laugh. I was going to say, why won't my game let me scroll? Come on, there we go. Now, if I was a giant stash of precious gems, where would I be? Uh, I don't know. got to be over here, because apparently I... Uh, can I go more this way? Okay, there we go. All right. Purge the metahumans. Oh, that's always cute. Okay, apparently that's locked. All right, what around here can we use to figure out where the hell these things are? I'm betting they're in this locked door right here. And you get something off of CBJ's corpse. Locked door down here as well. There's our key. Oh, there we go. I knew there was something underneath that stupid spirit I accidentally summoned. St the late Stevie J's passcodes. Yes, thank you. Ugh, son of a bitch. Oh, that's a hellhound. That's a hellhound. That's uh, that's not good. That's not good. Alright. Serrano. Oh, it's got a name, too. Oh, missed. How do you miss with a spell from that range? Alright, let's see here. Need a little bit of armor. We're going to switch to our gun and put a cap in the stupid thing. Nine damage with the crit. There we go. There's literally just no finesse in this. It's just a slugging match. Minus one AP. That's not good. I could line up losing right here. Uh, have a grenade. <laughs> I really don't want to have to do that though. Got mana ball. Mana bolt. Let's see if I can catch it. Catch it with this stupid thing. 10 damage, there we go. Minus 1 AP again. God, stop it. I am almost dead. Come on. Shoot this stupid thing, please. 3 damage. 
Ugh. I'm going to die. Oh my god, we killed it with a crit. Thank god. <laughs> that would have just ended things right then and there. Oh, what a nightmare. I didn't know the damn thing was in there. A small velvet bag filled with precious gems. Awesome. But now we're not leaving until we've got the stuff in the other locker room because that just cost me a bunch of freaking resources in terms of healing that I now have to do to myself. And so I'm not leaving without the goods. There better not be another hellhound in there. I swear to God, if there's another hellhound in there, I'm going to throw my computer. Oh, good. All right, let's see what we got here. We have three different things to get. Some loose Nuyen. So we've got 25 bucks out of it. Old junk of no value. It's annoying. And this one, it better be something. I swear to God. A money clip full of Nuyen and a med advanced med kit. So there we go. So we made a hundred new yen and got an advanced med kit. Well, alrighty then. And with this, the mission is over and we can go back to uh, the Seamstress's Union. And it should just take me right there because there's literally no opposition between point A and point B anymore. Come on. Nope. Come on. Head back to the Seamstresses Union. Confirm. Okay. Return to the Union. Despite Coyote's clear desire to stand on her own two feet, Paco needs to help her through the door into the Seamstresses Union. Heads raise, and the front door of the bar falls strangely silent. Paco stands by her side now, not speaking, his dark eyes flat with fury. Coyote presses a rag to her clawed-up face. She winces but manages to keep control as she breathes in slow, deep breaths to manage the pain. Taking a closer look, you can see her arm isn't much more than shreds of meat and broken bone held together by tendons and burned skin. It'll be a miracle if she still has it by the end of the night. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a part. We found Paco, we found Coyote, we killed a whole bunch of motherfuckers that deserved killing and almost got killed on our ourselves. So, we're going to leave it apart here. We're going to pick it up again next week. And we're going to find out if damage actually gets healed automatically. If not, that's going to be a problem. You guys have a great day, a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Just leave a comment, hit the like button, whichever, however you do what you do. It's been great. I've been the Warboss Squee, and I'll see you next time.